We need to dive a little deeper and make sure you fully grasp the significance of the paper from this morning. This was the one about all the different Nova level isotopes and the violent merger isotopes coming to Earth and being found to have arrived conjointly. Essentially, these are a good fraction of the short half-life Nova level isotopes identified by Doug Vogt, which kick-started the entire discussion about solar micronova events in the first place. All these different isotopes, they tell us they come from different kinds of stars, different kinds of events, different kinds of nova explosions or mergers, all in different places in the galaxy, at different distances from us, and at different times in history. And yet, they all seem to want to arrive at the Earth party at the exact same time, together. Seem unlikely? No kidding. This hits directly onto the first of the three main evidence lines for the solar micronova, the nova level isotopes. In these papers, they conveniently ignore the short half-lives, meaning they would likely never have gotten all the way to our sun from another star, but they also truly want us all to believe that all these short-lived isotopes came from different kinds of stars from all over the galaxy, and despite their novas being at different distances from us and at different times, their isotopes all arrived here at Earth at the exact same time, and not just once, but over and over and over again on a fairly regular cycle. That's actually crazy the more you think about it, and that's what we're told to believe. The truth is that the sun makes all of these things in a micronova, some through fusion, yes, but others are electrically transmutated. They arrive together because they exploded nearby, at the same time, in the same event. Folks, we really don't need any more evidence to know what the sun is going to do, but it is always fun when a science team has to address one of these topics, and the explanations that come out of them are absolutely hilarious. Solar micronova, the crowning moment of the Earth disaster cycle, peaking in approximately 20 years. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.